Hey monkeys, it's Kyla here and we are having a total waste of a day out, but I don't mean that in a bad way. We're here at a recycling plant in Christchurch to find out a little bit more about this amazing machine that this guy brought to our city to help us recycle better. This is Adrian. Hi Adrian, how's it going today? I'm fine, thanks. Hi Kyla, how are you? Very well, thank you. All right, tell us a little bit about this machine. What's special about it? How long has it been here? What makes it great and what can it do for us? Um, <clears throat> what makes it great is it's a big Tonka toy that I love to play with. <laughs> um, and it's been here since February 2009. It was probably about two years in the planning and construction. Um, and what makes it uh, quite different to most other places is that we take fully uh, unsorted uh, recycling rubbish and we sort it all out into lots of different things. So this has been a really big problem, right? Because if you want to recycle things, the sorting of it is one of the biggest issues, right? That you put the, the plastic in with the glass and, it, and then that contaminates the whole tray? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And it, very expensive and lots of people and very dirty, horrible job. Right. Now, this machine has a special name, I understand. What's the name? Uh, it's known as the MRF, which is, actually is MRF, okay. which is Material Recovery Facility, but it's just known as the MRF. Um, <laughs> how much recycling does MRF process in a month or a year? Uh, in the first year of operation, we did uh, just under 52,000 tons. 52,000 tons of recycling. Yes, correct. And the stuff that comes out of MRF, what happens to it? Where does it go after it leaves here? Um, a lot of it goes um, overseas, but it goes to places that um, actually recycle and reuse the material. So all of the newspaper that comes out of here goes usually off to China or other uh, Asian countries, mm -hmm. and it gets repulped and de-inked, and it gets made back into newsprint. Um, the same with the cardboard and uh, the same with what we call news and pamphlet, which is all the small bits of paper left over. Mm -hmm. um, all of the steel and all of the aluminium cans get recycled uh, and then all of the plastics get made into different plastic products, apart from Coke bottles which get made into clothing. Coke bottles get made into clothing? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. And where does that clothing get sold? Uh, a lot of it gets sold back in here, here in New Zealand, but also uh, all over the world. So. That's just fantastic. Now, the 52,000 tons of uh, recycling that MRF processed last year, mm -hmm. what would have happened to that before February of 2009? Um, a good deal of it would have actually gone off to landfill. All right, Adrian, what are we looking at here? What is this? It's uh, crushed glass bottles. So this used to be beer bottles and milk bottles and pot bottles, everything. So right. all green, brown and clear glass. Yeah. And what does it get made into? Um, this stuff uh, goes off and is used for grit blasting and uh, pool filters. So your pool gets cleaned up with this stuff. So. Monkeys, I wish you could feel this because it feels like soft sand. It's really cool. Check this out. It's so cool. Look at these. These are green wine bottles or water bottles or what, glass bottles, but they've been chopped up, chipped up, and look, they've been embedded into this beautiful statue. See, you can use recycled products for anything. Do you know the other day I was at a friend's house and her countertop in her kitchen is made with poured concrete and chipped bottles. She has, uh, there's a blue glass bottle and she took those blue glass bottles and she chipped them up and put them in her countertop and it is the most beautiful thing imaginable. So you can make Absolutely gorgeous stuff out of recycled material. All right, monkeys, thanks so much for tuning in today. And we hope you learned a little bit about MRF and recycling and all of the stuff that your rubbish can get turned into. Let us know what your recycling experience is. Leave us a comment on the YouTube video, on the blog. Send us your email. Send us your pictures. Remember, if they're going to have pictures of your face, we need to know from your parents that it's OK to use those. But we always want to hear from you. So thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this waste of a day with us.